and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a panel collage in Adobe Photoshop. We need a couple of photos obviously. You can find the ones that I'm using on Pixabay. I've got a link in the description below. So I've got six in total and a white background. And now I want to create a rectangle. Make sure shape is selected in the top menu. I've got a black fill and no stroke. The color of the fill doesn't really matter. In this Photoshop version, I need to hold Alt to drag it top to bottom, and then I'll release it. I use the Move tool, then I hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. I continue doing that until I've got a six in total, as I've got six photos. So that's fine. Let me select them all. I'll just hold Shift and click on them, and then I press Ctrl T and I'll resize them a little bit. Let me center them, so once again I select them all and then I use the move tool, drag it to the left. So that's the first step. And now we want to individualize them a little bit. So I go to the individual rectangle layer, press Ctrl T, and then I distort it a little bit. You can simply hold Ctrl in this Photoshop version to have the distort activated so that only one anchor point is affected. I'll continue doing that for all of these six rectangles in total. All right, the next step is to create clipping masks for the images. So I'll drag one photo on top of the rectangle, then right click, create a clipping mask. I can move it around with the move tool, and I can still press Ctrl T and resize that. I want to create a drop shadow for the rectangle. So right click on the rectangle layer, then blending options, add a drop shadow. It's black. Blending mode is normal. Opacity, I want to have it around 50 to 60. It's fine. And you can drag the distance and angle around by simply left clicking on your canvas and dragging it. Now I can use the sliders. So oh, that's a good result. I press OK. I can simply right click and copy the layer style and then paste it on the next rectangle. So let me repeat adding clipping masks. And it's the same process. I use the move tool to move it around and press Ctrl T to resize it. Once again, I go to the next rectangle, right click and paste the layer style to add the drop shadow.
So the next step, if you want to add that, is to go to the background and add a gradient adjustment layer, and we can add a default gradient. Or create our own. So let me use a simple two color gradient. I double click on these little color rectangles on a slider. And then I use the eyedropper tool to pick or to sample some colors from the images until I found something that I like. Maybe something like this. You can change the style to radio, for example. But I like it linear. But I'm going to change the angle. So instead of 90, I want to have minus 90 degrees. And just click on the circle next to angle, or you can type it in. And that's it. This is how you can create this panel collage in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.